Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. Steven here with Team Euphoric, and this is day five of the 80 days to your dream body. Today's protein source is going to be pork spare ribs, and today is going to be an active recovery day, which means we are not going to be performing a workout. Instead, I'm going to be taking you through a full body mobilization routine. Now let's get started. And hopefully you guys are properly hydrated because it is time to get on with the workout. And the first thing we're going to be doing is the joint mobilization workout. We're going to start from the ground and we are going to work our way up. And the first thing we're going to do is work at the ankle. So for the ankle, what we want to do is we are going to get into a lunge position. And the mobilization that we are doing is going to be the half kneeling dorsiflexion with dowel rod. For the mobilizations, really all we're going to need is a mat, if you need that to be nice and comfortable. We're going to need a foam roller and we are going to need a dowel rod. For this first one, we're in a kneeling, half kneeling position. We want the toes of the working leg pointing inward and then we want the dowel right at the outside of the fifth metacarpal. Then for this one right over here, the way that we are going to perform it is with straight arms, you are going to push down on the dowel rod and you want to move your knee outside and as far forward as possible without allowing the medial arch to come up off the ground or without allowing the heel to come off the ground. We're gonna do this for 20 repetitions. So just push down and we're gonna go one and come back, two, come back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and last one 20 switch sides so again half kneeling position toes are pointed in place the dowel at the base of the fifth metacarpal and without allowing to go into excessive supination or letting your heel leave drive your knee as far forward as possible one remember to push down on the dowel rod two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Okay, now we're gonna move up to the knees and we do not need the dowel rod for this one. We're gonna place our medial malleolus or the bone right in front of our ankles or our heels together. And for this one right over here, we are just going to drive the knees as far forward as possible while maintaining an upright posture. And we're gonna do that for 20. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Next, we're gonna move up to the hip and we are going to be performing the active straight leg raise. The way that this exercise goes is we are going to lay in a supine position. So you're gonna be laying down on your back. And then with a straight knee and ankles pointing up toward the sky, what we wanna do is we are going to flex the hip without rotating the feet in either direction. So we're gonna inhale. Once you can't go any higher, exhale and get deeper. That's one. We're gonna do 20. And for this one, we're gonna, we can either alternate or do single leg. I'm gonna stick to one leg at a time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Switch legs, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. And next we are going to move to the lumbar spine. So for this one, we are going to be in a prone position, meaning you're gonna be laying down on your stomach and we are going to be performing the McKenzie press up. For the McKenzie press up, you want to go as high as you possibly can without allowing the ASIS or your anterior superior iliac spine to lift up off the ground. If your hips end up coming off the ground, it is no longer a lumbar spine mobilization. It is going to be an abdominal stretch. So if you have limited range of motion with regard to extension in the lumbar spine, you may not be able to get that high. For me, I have pretty good lumbar extension. So I'm gonna get my hands a little bit closer. But the principle is the same. We're inhaling, extend. Once you can't go anymore, exhale. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Last one. And twenty. And now that we've mobilized the lumbar spine, we are going to mobilize the thoracic spine. For this one, we are going to need a foam roller. If you do not have a foam roller, you could check out thoracic mobilization on my exercise series playlist. I have a ton of thoracic mobilizations that require no equipment whatsoever. For me though, I do have access to the foam roller. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. We're gonna be in a supine position. You want your legs bent, your knees bent. You wanna place the foam roller at the bottom of your thoracic spine. So if you know how to locate your T12, which is the bottom vertebra in the thoracic spine, that's where you want it. If you're not sure, palpate your ribs, trace it. And if you're still not sure how to do that, it's gonna be slightly below your mid back. So your umbilicus or your belly button is roughly at the level of your L3. So about two inches higher than that, that should be your thoracic spine. With your hands, grasp behind your head. You're not going to pull, it's just there for support. And we are going to inhale and do the same thing. So we're gonna inhale. Once you can't go any farther, you're gonna exhale. Then we're gonna move up about one inch. So we wanna move up to the next thoracic vertebra. Inhale. And exhale. And move up one more. So about one more inch. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Move up one more. Inhale. Exhale. One more, about an inch. Inhale. As we start getting higher up the thoracic spine, the vertebrae become a lot smaller. So now we're gonna move a little bit less than an inch. Inhale. And let's move down. Move down again. And again. As you start getting closer and closer to the upper thoracic spine, it's gonna be really tough to get any extension. So any motion at all that you can get is gonna be great. You don't need to get your head down to the ground once you start getting closer to the top of the thoracic spine. And let's do one more. All right. So now that we've done the lower body and the thoracic and lumbar spine, we are going to move on to the shoulders. For the shoulders, this is going to be an active range of motion exercise. We wanna start with the arms, maximal extension, maximal external rotation, bring them down to the side, and then you are going to push down and away from your body. We're going to come up to the sky, bring the arms into extension right in front of you, tuck in the elbows, open up, touch the opposite scapula. That's one. Again, we're going to do 10 in each direction. So this is two. Tuck in the elbows, 
open, touch. This is three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. This is the last one before we change direction. 10. So now from here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna touch first, open up, then we're going to go up and out and in. That was one. That was two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. And that concludes the mobilization workout for the entire body. Next. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. Be sure to like, share, and leave a comment as it'll help the algorithm. And if you enjoyed the content, show your support by subscribing to the channel by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner. And if you really want to show your support, then consider becoming a member by clicking on the icon in the bottom left corner. These new high quality videos aren't cheap to edit and the $5 membership will really help with the video editing budget. You'll also get access to a ton of exclusive perks like early access to videos and this program design lecture playlist in the top right hand corner. And if you want to learn how to do a one arm pull up, then check out the playlist on the top left corner.